Projects in Melbourne South East will be blocked from seeking compensation when tunnels are built under their homes for the suburban rail loop. The state government's changed the law as it faces a long legal battle with homeowners living above the Westgate Tunnel. The suburban rail loop will travel under thousands of homes on its 90 kilometre route around Melbourne. But homeowners above the tunnels won't be able to claim compensation. People are worried that their land is going to be devalued, but they now have no right to compensation. The state government changed acquisition laws while locked in a legal battle with Yarraboo residents living over the Westgate Tunnel. If we were to sell our home, uh, we would have to make available the fact that there's a caveat on our property that um, shows that the authority actually owns the property uh, from 15 metres below our property to the centre of the earth. The rail loop's first stage we built under Cheltenham, Clayton, Monash and Glen Waverley, but residents between Box Hill and Broadmeadows will also be affected. What this is about is looking after the very people who the compensation needs to be targeted to. The right to compensation for compulsory acquisition of land is well established in Australia and suddenly the government is taking that away for what will be thousands and thousands of people affected by suburban rail loop and other projects. The opposition says the law change to limit claims is unfair and it will reverse the decision if it wins the November election. I think Victorians have a right if their homes are damaged by government construction or infrastructure to seek recompense for that. The suburban rail loop is expected to take nearly 30 years to build. Tick and Dying, 7 News. It's the